Hello beautiful people, it's Davina from the London Curls and as you may know I am a 90s baby through and through. I love my 90s music, I love my 90s fashion. Therefore today I thought I'd bring to you a really fun video just to show you how you can style your braids, faux locks and twists to look like some of my favourite 90s stars. So keep watching if you want to be able to style your hair in these fun ways and yes all of the details of the materials used are below so check out the description box. Number one, let's go for Brandy, aka Moesha, as I fondly remember her. What I do is I section my hair off to just behind my ears, middle parting, and you just start to twist. So take the hair up as high as you want the buns to be and twist it all the way down. Make sure you twist right to the ends to make sure that it's a tight bun and then just wrap it around itself like so. It's really, really simple and it normally stays in place as long as you keep it tight all the way down. If you want to have a really tight, really detailed look, what I suggest you do is you just plait it down. So rather than twisting it down, you can actually plait each of the sections all the way down like so, and then just in the exact same way, twist it all the way around and you will have your perfect buns. We're trying to look like Moesha, not Princess Leia, so make sure that you're keeping the buns relatively high on your head, and there you go. Right, next, Lisa Left Eye Lopez. So starting off with the ponytail in the middle, I'm using straight lines because I want it to be relatively neat. Again, we're going halfway back. Then I'm taking two braids from the back of this section and you just wrap it round. Now it's important that you, you keep wrapping round as much as possible because the more you wrap, the higher up the ponytail will be. And obviously we want to have a rather dramatic look seeing as Lisa was never subtle. I think we can agree on that. Now once you've finished wrapping it around, just tie it in a knot like so and then move on to the other side. So you can obviously do it a lot neater than I've done it. I've rushed through this, but as long as you are careful and you keep wrapping it around neatly, then you're going to have a flawless style. And once you've finished wrapping it around, obviously tighten a knot and you can push away all of those fly away bits as well. So you could leave it like this, three ponytails, or if we're going to be traditional Lisa left eye realness, then you just plait each of the sections all the way down. You can use a hair tie as well. I tend to not use hair ties whenever I've got my hair in braids, but feel free, do as you feel. But as I think you will agree, we look rather ghetto fabulous, pretty damn cute. Now moving on to probably the most infamous 90s braid style is of course Janet Jackson in Poetic Justice. So using this hairband, I am just going to push my hair back. Now this is just a really simple way of doing it. However, if you look at the Janet Jackson style, she actually has a bit of height to her hair. So again, going halfway back, I'm taking two strands of hair and I'm just tying it in a bow. I'm only tying it round once because we don't want it as dramatic as Lisa Left Eye Lopez, but we do want a little bit of height like so. Now, if we're going to be dramatic, we're gonna to have to follow T-Boz, who obviously loves her hair being pushed forwards or loved her hair. I'm not sure whether she still continues with this style. But yeah, what I do is I bring all of my hair on top and following the same technique, I just wrap it round, but I wrap the two pieces of hair round twice this time and tie it in a knot at the back just to create a little bit more height. And then yeah, all of the hair brought forward. There you go. Now, this is a bit weird. We're gonna go a bit off track, but we're gonna follow Tupac. Obviously, the bandana is infamous. Now, I'm going to add a modern spin to this by using an African print, like so. It's really important that you bring all of the hair forward and part your hair how you want it to fall, and then take that material and simply tie it in front, like so. So I tie it into a bow. You could tie it in a knot so it looks a bit more traditional two-pack, but obviously I want to be cute and girly, so tie it in a bow and there we are. Or if you want to do a variation of this and you want to actually cover over your hair on top, as you can see, two-pack did the same even though he was bald, so yeah. <laughs> I'm using a material that is more traditionally bandana-ish here, but it's also a silk material which is better for your hair, especially when it's in braids if you want to keep it neat. So I folded it in half so it's in a triangle. I bring the triangle forward and I simply tie it the front 
like so. Now I could have tied it in a bow but just because I enjoy having my turban styles I simply wrap it all the way down like so and then once I've finished I twist it round so it's in a nice tight bun. And that's a wrap people, double entendre. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Tell me, what's your favourite style? Who is your favourite 90s style that you like to follow? And as always, please rate, comment and subscribe. Bye.